subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is cymos inflorescence chapter morphology of flowering plants cymos inflorescence now in the last video we had studied racemos inflorescence where the main axis never terminates by a flower and the flowers develop in acropetal succession in case of cymos inflorescence the main axis always terminates with the flower the main axis of the plant always terminates with the flower due to which its growth get, becomes restricted that means determinate growth is c now when the growth of the main axis gets restricted a lateral branch then develops which grows further such type of growth is known as sympodial growth and in this case the flowers develop in bicipital succession means the central flower is the older one while the one which develop later lateral ones are the younger ones now the different types of cymos inflorescence first is uniparous or monochaetial cyme uni means single or mono means single and paras means the branch in case of uniparous or monochaetial cyme the main stem terminates by a flower from the main stem develops a branch that terminates by a flower from the branch then develops another branch a single branch which terminates by a flower so this is how the flowers develop uniparous or monochaetial cyme is divided into two types scorpioid cyme and helicoid cyme now in case of scorpioid cyme the main axis terminates by a flower from which develops a branch that terminates by a flower from the branch then develops a branch on the alternate side that terminates by a flower so this way the branches develop in zigzag fashion in this diagram we can see this is the main branch that terminates by a flower from the main branch develops a lateral branch which terminates this way it develops alternately example of scorpioid cyme are begonia and ranunculus while in case of a helicoid cyme in case of helicoid cyme the main branch terminates with the flower from the main branch develops a lateral branch that terminates by a flower from the lateral branch develops another lateral branch on the same side that terminates by a flower and so on so this is helicoid cyme where branches develop at the same size now due to development of branches on the same side the plant does not droop as fusion occurs between the lower part of the lateral branch with the main stem now if this is the main stem the lower part of the lateral branch fuses making it erect then from this develops a branch the lower part of which fuses and then it gets terminated by a flower a such type of growth is known as sympodial growth where the peduncle is formed by the fusion of bases of the axillary branches an example of helicoid cyme is heliotropium and drosera next is biparous or dicaetial cyme bi means two or di means two in this case 
the main stem terminates by a flower from the main stem develop two branches that terminate by a flower from the two branches then develop two branch lateral branches that terminate by a flower as you can see here the main stem terminates with a flower from which develop two branches that get terminated by a flower from the branches then develop two lateral branches that terminate by a flower such type of cyme is known as biparous or dicotyl cyme example teak ixora jasmine dianthus and nictanthus next is multiparous or polychaetial cyme multi or poly means many so in this case developing from the main stem or the main stem terminates by a flower from the main stem develop many branches that terminate by a flower and from these branches then develop many lateral branches that terminate by a flower as you can see in this figure this is the main stem that terminates by a flower from the main stem develop one two three four branches in this case which terminate by a flower from this four branches then develop again four lateral branches each which then terminate by a flower so such type of a cyme is known as multiparous or polychaetial cyme example of which are euphorbia calotropis and asclepias and last is cymos head where the tip of the main stem is swollen up to form a receptacle upon which develop either sessile means without pedicel or sub sessile flowers means having a small pedicel these flowers develop centrifugally means the inner ones are the older ones and the outer ones are the younger ones this is known as a cymos head and the best example of which is acacia another example is mimosa that is touch me not plant that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching